Alright, welcome to another episode of Implant Pokemon. Today we are going to try using Sharpedo Victini. Our attackers will be Zora and uh, Chinchino. And Chinchino used to be a really awesome Pokemon, but uh, after Noble Victories came out, really doing a 100 damage turn in most games just isn't really enough anymore. So. We start with a mulligan. And it's like the same hand all over again. Well, it's a shame we didn't get a basic. Come on, basic. Ah, it's not the worst start in the world. Don't have an energy, which is kind of a shame. So, let's start flipping coins. The most important one is going to be the one coming up. My opponent should be drawing a couple of cards here from my mulligan. And we'll go second. So, bishop. Let's see here. So if he has a Bisharp on this turn, on his second turn, uh, could be game over for us right off the bat. Can't really argue with this start either. This actually isn't that bad. Well, and that takes care of that. So I think that's going to die. because he should be able to finish it off on his second turn. So Victini, Carvana, Mencino, and I actually think Focus Energy is broken and will not actually prevent, oh, it doesn't prevent damage. It does damage, so. It's really all we can do. And let's see if he snatched a Bisharp. And he whiffs. So. And what we're going to do here. Let's see. Gonna get Zora out of here. I'm gonna go right for the Chinchino. Evolve. And I'm actually gonna Oak, because I really want a double colorless. The strategy here is to strip him of his hand and then we'll just hammer away with 100 per turn with Chinchino. And that did not happen. So, let's see how much. He's got 60. I'm doing 30. And that would be, and we could one shot him right here, but that would be a lot of resources going down the crapper. But hey, if we miss on the strip bear. So, let's try for the strip bear. And this is where Victini's kind of broken. Well, um, he loses his hand. So I actually don't recommend playing Victini online. It's a very broken card. So he's going to be in top deck mode. And he's already had enough of that. So, kind of a poor game, but uh, with the right combination of plus powers and special darks, um, Strip Bear can be devastating. So, very quick game. Alright, and we're going to try and find another game with Sharpedo Victini. The goal with 
Sharpedo is to strip your opponent's hand on turn two and then use Chinchino or Zoroark to take easy prizes while your opponent struggles to recover. So we've got Victini um, to help with the flippy nature of Sharpedo's attack. And that's pretty much uh, all that's going to go on here. All the Pokemon have a one retreat cost. Everything can use colorless or darkness energy. Um, Sharpedo has actually a helpful rage attack, which can do a, a surprising amount of damage for a dark and a double colorless. So we're going to try and use all of these attacks to our advantage um, to win the game without using any of the legendary dragons and things like that. So we actually have a very strong start here. We're going to have Carvana right off the bat, Victini, we're not going to have to search him out, so definitely can't complain with this hand. So he's going to go first, and we can see Cub Chew Horsey, which kind of excites me a little bit. Um, actually means we might be playing a somewhat decent deck. Yep, it definitely looks that way. Looks like he has a bad first turn, which definitely works to my favor. Gonna attach the dark right away. Uh, we're gonna oak. Might have... Well, we got the juniper, so we should be in good shape. Oh yeah, we've got collector, we've got communication, darkness energy. We should be able to try for a strip bear on turn two, which is definitely ideal. He could have a bear trick, could have uh, the bad bear tick. Yeah, so we will survive here. So the first thing we got to do is we'll just go ahead, send off our Chinchino to get Sharpedo. Collector to fill out our bench. Um, just because he's going to use Bear Tick, I'm actually going to go for Zora. Um, and I'm actually a little disappointed I have one prized because that would be a very strong play. Um, so, we've already got a Mincino on the bench. Might just hang on to a Cleffa just in case. Don't really need it, but I don't really need anything else either. So I'll lay a Mincino, lay a Zora, and I'm debating laying an energy here. I really want to strip his hand, but at the same time, I could just go ahead and rage right here, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So rage for three energy is going to do 50 plus three, and I can't really argue with that. Changing strategies here. So he's had a terrible start, and I don't really think there's much in his hand because he didn't play very many cards on his first pair of turns. So I might be able to just. Ah, there's another horsey. Interviewer's questions, not a very good card in my opinion. But. It does one of the few cards that lets you grab special energy out of the out of your deck. Like the double colorless and the rescue. So I'm gonna double check here. He's got 50. And I think what I'm going to do, because I really want to strip his hand. But there's so many great things in my I think we're going to go ahead, attach to Mincino, and I'm debating on putting up Cleffa. Uh, if he does get his Kingdra Prime set up, it's a very easy target, but so 
so almost wasn't very helpful. Didn't get any of my junk arms. That's alright. So this has got a rescue. This doesn't. Don't really need to waste a catcher. And I think we are going to go for the strip bear. I think now could be the time. Broken Victini, I think is going to reflip. I think my opponent has to confirm, click yes or no. Played against Victini a few times, it's very broken. It seems like something that's easy. It should pop up what my two flips are. Ask me if I want to reflip, I click yes, and it does it again, and that should be it. There shouldn't be all this weird drama. We are still on our quest to find a decent match with my Sharpedo Victini Chinchino Zorark deck. So it looks like we're going to be playing something with water, possibly Kirim. Kind of a weird start here. Catcher, catcher, water, water, N, Oak, Switch. Don't know what it could be. So. Could be Kiram, could be Feraligator, could be Bear Tick. So hoping. So we kind of have a meh start. I guess I'm happy I have a Juniper. So he's going to go first, and we're going to see a Cleffa, which also isn't super helpful. And now I really don't want to Juniper away three of my eight dark energy. So definitely called it on the Feraligator, but I'm not certain what else he could do here. So he's going to eek. Must not be happy with his hand. He will wake up. And I'm going to try and actually get a Pokemon Collector. And we got it, which is perfect. So at this point, I don't know what he's going to be playing. I don't know what I really want here. Um, we have a Chinchino in play. We need a Victini and a Carvana. The question is, should I, should I go for a, a second Carvana or a Zora? If he's playing Bear Tick, then Zora is going to be the play. I don't really remember what Croconaw's attacks do if it can take out a Carvana. We know he plays with Catcher. So at this point, I'm going to go for two Carvana and a Victini. We do play two Victini. I probably should have taken a look if the other one was prized or not. And at this point, I think I also kind of want to eek for no good reason. I'm all set to go. I wish I had a plus power. Oh, I do have last resort, Mencino. I just made that switch. So, out goes Cleffa, take an early prize with Victini. And now the pressure is really on my opponent here. So he does get the collector off of the eek, and now we might have an idea of what we're playing against. So let's take a look here. The Emerging Powers Mincino actually for one energy can do 30 on a flip. Um, I was playing with the black and white, which for one energy, ah, there's Kirim. And a horsey, so uh, all the best water Pokemon are in my opponent's deck here. So a couple Kirim, let's see how he, he plans on powering them up with Feraligator Prime. And that's going to be a tough one, so... If he has rare candy in his hand... So this will be a tough matchup. So he goes for the Seedra. So at this point we really need the Strip Bear, I think. Will be important to slow him down because Kiram, there, 
Prime's for Alligator Prime. He doesn't appear to have enough energy in his hand. Possibly just one card. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, I really wish I had the... So we're gonna get the Sharpedo. Special Dark. We're gonna cons we have to Juniper, so there's no reason not to use this switch. And at this point, I will Juniper. So we do get the Chinchino. Don't get the Double Colorless. And I'm already going to be attacking into the Kirim. So let's do a little bit of math. So I'm going to hit him for 30. He could hit me for 50. And then I could hit him for 100, which is the knockout. Um, so a successful strip bear here actually will be pretty big. So we took out, so depending on what this card is, wow, he's out of cards, and this is what makes this so deadly. Um, so he has 30 damage on him. Now at this point, what I really want to do is the wave for the knockout. Um, so we are going to go ahead and oak. got our basic that we desperately wanted and we'll just retreat and I think Kirim is the biggest threat um, I guess it all just depends so we'll do the wave and uh, this is what it's like playing Sharpedo this is the fifth game where our my opponent just quit right away. Um, so uh, that's Sharpedo. Uh, we got the second turn Strip Bear. We got the third turn Do the Wave. And the and as we can see here, our opponent, uh, there's really nothing he could do. Um, a Juniper, an Oak, or an N. Uh, I think my opponent probably could have held out, eventually drew into a Pokegear or an N, and then... Uh, drop my hand size down to one, two, possibly three cards and make a comeback. Um, but he just wasn't interested. So that's what happens when Sharpedo gets a, a hot start. <laughs>